If you've been driving along I-94 between Minneapolis and St. Paul, it is hard not to notice the new soccer stadium. Allianz Field is going up right off the Snelling exit. Already, it is 70% completed. So how is Allianz Field being built so quickly? Good question. We sent Minnesota United fan Heather Brown to take a look inside. The supporter section is coming along, as are the windows to the suites, and eventually these blue and gray chairs will look like a loon. In total, 20 months. Okay. Is that typical for a stadium of this size? Uh, it's uh, fairly typical for a soccer stadium. Greg Huber also worked on Target Field. You know, I think it was just all about the visibility. Yeah. You know, you just, people had no idea what we were doing inside the bowl. Target Field took 32 months, TCF 29. And sure, both are bigger than Allianz, but there's more to the story. The technology that's in construction now is much more advanced than even when we're building TCF for Target Field. Here, crews were able to build large pieces off site and install them quickly. The soil at Allianz took less prep time, and crews had more space to work with in St. Paul. Target Field, you couldn't even put your cranes outside. Target Field was all kind of built like from, from inside out. The work at Allianz Field started last June, and back then most of the construction was on the inside. The foundations, the concrete decks. It was right around Thanksgiving that drivers on 94 started seeing steel from the road. When these big elements started showing up, I think it took people by surprise. <laughs> it did, because yeah. all of a sudden November comes and boom, yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of steel in this place. And we didn't slow down. The first steel they built up was closest to 94. Crews had to wait for the old Midway shopping mall to clear. In this animation, you can see they built in a U shape to start rather than all the way around. We need to really time the construction so that we can maximize the lease time. And finally, there's the rain screen that will cover the entire outside of the stadium. The wind can't get through it, rain can't get through it. Here's what it looks like close up. It's a fabric coated with a Teflon-like material. And it's a lot easier to put up than, say, a brick wall. This is very unique. Ah, so we're ahead of the curve on this one. We're, we're very much ahead of the curve. Perhaps a good sign for Minnesota United. In St. Paul, Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Workers are going to lay the sod in October, and then they'll cover it through the winter. Mortensen expects to wrap up construction by February of next year. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wccocom links. I know you.